well, we're out in the woods, rooting around looking for something nice to eat. The primrose, or the prime rose, one of the very first flowers of springtime, one of the, one of the signals that spring has begun, uh, winter's not coming back, and it's uh, prolific around the edges of fields and in wooded areas like, like this area that I'm in here. It's a lovely flower, often put onto salads and uh, put into, actually put into graves when people died in spring. One of those flowers that's put into graves. William Wordsworth, one of uh, the greatest poets in the English language, he lived in Cumbria near to Grasmere and in spring he would go out and walk in the local area and he saw this large rock that seemed to teeter and uh, in this rock was a crack and in the crack was some soil and in that soil grew a primrose. He was reflecting at that point in his life on God and whether God existed. There was a lot of questions being asked in his day about God and who God was and whether it was reasonable to believe in God. And this is what he wrote in a poem, an unfinished poem. It was a very large poem, but here's just the second and third verse. It's called The Primrose of the Rock. The flowers still faithful to the stems, their fellowship renewed. The stems are faithful to the root that worketh out of view. And to the rock the root adheres in every fibre true. Close clings the earth, the lit to the earth the living rock, though threatening still to fall. The earth is constant on her sphere, and God upholds them all. So blooms this lonely plant, no dreads her annual funeral. It's quite an interesting poem, isn't it? It's a poem where he thinks about the leaves attached to the stem, the flower attached to the stem, attached to the root, attached to the rock, which is attached to the earth, and the earth is attached to God. Well, it's a lovely reminder, isn't it? Uh, the psalmist would put it like this. King David looking at the world around him, and he would say this. O Lord our God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty. You wrap yourself in light as with a garment. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. You lay the beams of the upper chambers on their waters. You make the clouds your chariots. You ride on the wings of the wind. You make winds your messengers, flames of fire your servant. The Bible tells us that we breathe and live and have our being and remain upon this floating rock, this flying rock that is propelled through space because of God. Our very breath, our very life is because of God. And like the little primrose, that's our hope. At the end of Wordsworth's poem, he says that the little primrose doesn't fear death because it's grounded on the rock, which is grounded on the earth, which is grounded in God. There is another rock that we speak about in the Christian faith, Jesus Christ. And if we're grounded on him, we need fear no death. If we put our trust in him, we fear no death because he will uphold us and keep us. And one day we'll see him face to face, renewed in a s eternal spring youth. Well, from me and my little friend here in the woods, I don't know, he's off rooting around somewhere looking for something. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll rescue it from him. Have a good day. God bless.